first, sometimes second Wednesday of the month, we like to do baritone ukulele. And today what we're doing is we're showing you how to play some slide blues on your baritone. Check out the Baritone playlist as well as get tabs by becoming a Patreon for this tutorial and all our tutorials. If you like this kind of content, hit subscribe. If you ring the bell, you'll never miss a lesson. Check out the description as well for our other links to our other social networks and my email for some one-on-one -on -one lessons. All right, grab that Baritone slide, brain and attention span, follow me on in, and let's get crazy. Let's start off with the tuning. We have our D string. G, everything normal so far, B, three normal strings, and then this E string here, you're going to want to drop it from an E to a D. What that's going to do is it's going to turn in your strings here into a G chord, all right? And that's really good for slide playing because... We can play all chords just by barring a fret. And this is the easiest open tuning because it's just taking this E and dropping it down to D. So these are now officially octaves of each other, okay? Okay, so now we are in open G. That also means your root note is right here. G string, G chord. Okay, so the first thing let's do, even before we do the slide, is let's take a look at this shuffle. That's what we're gonna do for a one chord. And what you do is you pluck the G string and the open, now D string, wait, we'll call it the high D string, formerly known as the E string, together. Pluck them twice. And then get your index finger on the second fret of the new D string. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. We can also, on the third beat, go up here to the third fret and add a little more dynamics to our shuffle. Okay, now, when we go to, from the D chord, which is our, D shuff, our G shuffle, to the C chord, We're sliding up there. And when you're playing your slide, you want to put it on your ring finger. They do make them small enough for your pinky. I have seen some people do the middle finger. The ring finger is going to give you the most control. And what you're going to do is you're going to slide, and you want the slide to be directly on top of the frets. When you're playing with your fingers, your finger is behind the fret but it doesn't really matter because the string is making contact with the fret. When you're playing the slide, you're not actually making contact with the fretboard. So as a result, you want that slide to be directly over the fret to get the right chord. If it's behind the fret, it sounds flat. Right over that chord. Or right over that fret, rather. Okay? And the other thing that you want to know is these two fingers behind the slide or the, your slide are making contact with these strings. And that's to prevent kind of any loose, jangly sounds. If you're just going like this, you're going to get some more jangle to it. By making contact with these two sh uh, fingers on the fretboard, behind the slide, you're going to get a much cleaner tone. So the first six measures, we would do this shuffle four times. And then we're going to slide up to the fifth fret. And we're going to give it a down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, up, down. One, two, and, and four. One, two, and, and four. Okay? Four shuffles. And 
believe it or not, that is almost all of your blues, your slide shuffle blues action. Now, notice when I'm sliding into it, I'm starting at every strum pattern, I'm going back a little bit and then sliding up into it. You can just put the slide over the fifth fret, but you lose a lot of the flavor of the slide. Just slide into it. And it'll give it a lot more movement. Another thing I'm doing is when I'm over the, over the fret, I'm shaking it a little bit. Shaking it, shaking that slide, shaking and baking that slide. That is vibrato and it's a very, very nice touch. Okay, you get to the turnaround. This is your C chord. Well, your D chord is two frets up. So what we're gonna do with the last four measures is we're gonna come up here to the D, same strum pattern, and note if we were doing this over the fifth fret here, up two frets, we get our D, down, up, down, up, up, down, down two frets, down, up, down, up, up, down, and then we're good to go. But let's do a little turnover riff, or turnaround riff. Strum pattern one time up here on the D. C. Open G string. Third fret. Second fret. Op first fret. Open. Now that riff actually works on both this new D string and it also works on the B string. Also works both at the same time which is exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna play the open G string, bar the new D and the B string together, and we're gonna pluck them two times. Down a fret two times, down a fret two times, and then open. After open, we're gonna slide all the way up to that D. Now, note it's one, two, and three, and four, and one two, three, four. You're gonna slide up here on the third beat, which means you're only gonna be here for one beat. Three, four, into the top. So the turnaround really, really slow would be. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, four, back in the top. Okay? Now, so, okay, so let's add a funky little riff. Up here on the 12th fret, you actually have another G chord, because that's where the octave, everything starts over. So what we're gonna do with the two middle strings is we're gonna slide, starting around nine or 10, it doesn't really matter, up to the 12. We're gonna do triplets. We're gonna go one pola, two pola, three pola, four. Triplets mean you're playing three notes in that one beat. One pola, two pola, three pola, four. To add some extra hot sauce to it, when we get down, we're gonna play the two middle ones open and slide from two to three and then open. So the two middle strings open, two to three, open, two to three, open. So our riff is going to be before we slide up to the um, C chord. All right, so let's put all that together in a pretty cool, pretty awesome 12 bar blues baritone slide with a shuffle. All right, from the top. One, two, three, four.
then you're back into the top. I would just go over that, you know, as many times as you can to get a really solid foundation of it. After that, you can start exploring the scales, adding licks, adding riffs, but this is the foundation of playing slide blues and a shuffle on the baritone. Um, in terms of slide, experiment, glass, steel, brass, ceramic, they all produce a little sound. Try them all and see which one, you know, is your vibe and your style. All right, until next time, keep on rocking and rolling, and we'll catch you the first, month, first Wednesday of the month for our next baritone lesson. So there you have it. That is how you play slide blues on your baritone with basic shuffles and a touch of pizzazz and a touch of flair. Thank you so much for watching to the very end of this tutorial here at 10thumbspro.com. We appreciate you learning with us. Life is good. Keep on rocking and rolling. Enjoy these ideas. Experiment with them. Have fun. Have a lovely day. Keep it cool. And until next time, take care, friends. It's all good.